Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Alex. Uh, doing a, something a little different than normal. I don't do a lot of video recordings, uh, but I got my computer set up. I'm in my new apartment after my house got destroyed. Don't worry about it. Um, so I'm doing a video today about the new uh, Black Widow set. I want to do something a little different. It's not your typical unboxing. Uh, the main reason being is because I really didn't want to do an unboxing and open the Taskmaster Chase and you can just literally see the the sadness on my face. I, I, I really didn't want you to have to deal with that. Um, so if you're here to see, oh, did he pull the Black Widow Chase? Yes, I pulled the Black Widow Chase. I'm super happy about it. But I want to talk about this set, this movie set a little bit because there's still a lot of confusion about it. Um, first off, where can you get it? Uh, currently it's at Target. It's supposed to be at your local gaming store whenever those open up again. Um, so don't freak out if you don't get them. It's okay. Uh, some of us, while we're out getting our essential needs, also want to check to Heroclix. So if you're still trying to find it at your local Target, uh, their targets are all set up a little differently, but basically it's an outside vendor who handles Heroclix, baseball cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Pokemon cards, Funko Pops, all of that for Target. Target has nothing to do with it. DPCI may register in the system, but they keep no inventory whatsoever. So you could be a dummy like me and keep calling and saying you got it in here's a dpci and it does nothing absolutely nothing so target has three main locations that excel puts their stuff i have two targets in my area one of them uh one of them got rid of all their excel stuff uh at the front of the store so it used to be next to the checkouts there used to be a area where they had uh, all this stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh, baseball cards, all of that stuff. Uh, my local Target, one of them got rid of that. Um, the other Target didn't. So always check that area, right in front, of, right next to where Starbucks or Pizza Hut or whatever it is there. There's a little section with the nerdy stuff. Check there. If it's not there, uh, there is an aisle typically that XL gets in the toy section. It is beyond the Legos, um, and probably before. Marvel and Star Wars, there's a little section where you see all of the, like, it's not the Funko Pops, but you'll see a section with a bunch of collectible card games and maybe some Pokemon stuff, maybe a lot of the the blind box things, like it's like, oh, a little tiny Marvel, you know, they have those there too. I found my Black Widow stuff all the way in the back, next to electronics, a big section that says Funko Pops. So I had, I got this a couple days ago. I had gone to one target, scratched out nothing. Went to the second target, and I was very depressed because it wasn't anything up front, wasn't anything in toys. And I got a hunch, eh, let's just check out this back section because I knew Excel also does the Funko Pops. And lo and behold, sitting right down there in the center, was this beautiful, beautiful Black Widow box. So if you don't see them in the front or in the toys, do not avoid going to electronics. It is right next to electronics. It's like not very big. It's like a section like <laughs> pretty small that has Funko Pops, other like nerdy stuff like Stranger Things and whatnot, but you will most likely see Black Widow there. So don't, don't be afraid to go back there. Um, I know me here in Tennessee, I'm pretty far away from the vendor, and we got it in. I know we got it in one store, and then another store about 20 miles away got it also. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see, can I make this video like widescreen? I wonder why it's squished. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. This is kind of a a new thing so um, I already know I got the chase but I wanted to kind of go over this set a little bit I, I kind of I opened it in uh, just two packs so I haven't opened up the rest of them and I wanted to give you guys an idea of what if you get a full thing now I think I only have 23 I think I, I, I lost a pack somewhere but I'll find it eventually I'm 
been in the midst of moving and things got lost. But I want to talk a little bit about the different figures. Um, and if you hear my kids screaming, sorry. Um, it's kind of all over the place around here. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about the different figures in this set because I don't think... I think this set's getting a little under... I mean, nobody has it. That's the problem. So it was released and nobody really thought anything about it until we started seeing the figures and saw, man, these are insane. So uh, the first figure I got was a... Uh, it's a rare. It's a Task Force Mercenary. I don't know if you can see that. I don't. It doesn't matter. The cards are on realms, so you don't really need to see it. Um, it's okay. Task Force Assassin, Soldier. It's not really one of them. Uh, it's not a rare that you'd be super happy to get, but there are better rares in a set. Basically, the main figures you're wanting out of this set is the Chase. Uh, all the Black Widows, pretty much every single Black Widow is great. Um, we've got a Yelena Belova. She's a common. She's not bad either for 50 points. There's better. She has no defensive powers. So I'm not super thrilled with her. So, so far we've got a rare, number 12, and a common, 02. Um, I think I didn't get any duplicates. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I mean, I haven't opened everything yet, so maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Like I said, I only opened the two, so. Um, I did get a rare Black Widow, number 13. So this is what I really want to talk about. Uh, and I can't really focus too much on these. It doesn't, my camera is kind of crappy. But, so let's talk about these Shifting Focus Black Widows a bit, because they are a force to reckon with. So uh, we've talked about it on the different podcasts before. There's kind of post-rotation we're getting to a rock, paper, scissors format because there's not, there's not the IDs to throw rock, paper, scissors out. Like I could be rock, paper, you could be rock, I could be paper, but you have an ID that destroys my rock or destroys my paper. So it's like, it doesn't matter. There's an ID to solve everything. Well, post rotation, that's all gone. So it's very much more rock, paper, scissors. So you have Vulture, who beats, kind of beats Widow. You have Batman, Prime Batman, who beats Vulture a majority of the time. And then you have Widow, who can beat Batman. Now, Widow can also beat Vulture. Um, now, a very good Vulture player maybe can figure that out. But one, the figures you need to not be sleeping on is I, I Shifting Focus Black Widow, I think is probably the best Shifting Focus ever made. That's better than the Superman. It's better than the Batman. She just does so many stupid things. And you would look at her dial and immediately think, okay, five clicks, 75 points. That's bad. That's... If that doesn't add up math wise, it's not great. They can only get five clicks. Six clicks is okay. Five's not good. But it's just all the stuff she does. So the rare one, number 13. And, and I'm sure you've read about all this, but I just kind of wanted to go into a little bit more why you shouldn't be sleeping on this set. So if Black, the main thing is if Black Widow's on a theme team or your starting force has two other characters from the movie set, which you should only be playing this on like an Avengers or Shield uh, theme team, maybe Spy with Spy Master, that's another option. Um, if Black Widow is on one of those teams and hits an opposing character that's equipped, you both roll d d6. If your result is higher, equip that opposing equipment to a friendly character, even if it has equip friendly. So this is probably the less used um, rare or shifting focus as far as for that power. Um, the shifting focus power is cool um, and then you're not going to, it, it, I feel like it's rare you're trying to use this power. You use her mostly for the, you can't see the numbers, sorry, but you're mostly using it for the charge, the quake, which she, after resolution, she gives each character an action token, and the exploit. So she's your main attacker, like close attacker. So the other Black wo uh, Widow, which we'll get to, um, she protects you from range, and so when they get close with a vulture or whoever, you're most likely switching to her or one of the other ones. But this is your main close attacker. This is Black Widow 13. So we've got two rares and one common. 
once again, I'm only really showing you how I feel about the set. I also want to show you distribution. Like, can I get away with just getting one feed to get all the figures I want? Um, and the answer is probably going to be no, because I think everybody should at least have two full sets of Shifting Focus Black Widow. Um, okay, oh, this is great. So, um, we got a Widow's Initiate. And man, this is super hard because of the lighting. Lighting's bad. Widow Initiate number three. So it's one of the generics. You really want both, and you want multiple. Uh, Widow's Initiate's great because it's really going to fluff up your uh, theme team for Spy or Widows or whatever. Uh, during game setup, Widow Initiate counts as two characters for a theme team. So this is this is also kind of the first hint that WizKids is just kind of doesn't care about theme team bonus at all. There's not going to be a cap. They just don't care because they got this piece and a bunch of other pieces. That's just theme team bonus is just going to be ridiculous. So um, you definitely want one of those because I believe this is the one that the Chase Black Widow can pop out. So you definitely want at least two or three of these. Um, Maybe it's better if it's here. I don't know, it's really hard to... Yeah. Ah, there it is! What was an issue? Yay! Um, you definitely want multiple of these. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, now remember, the set doesn't have uncommons, doesn't have super rares, it's just commons, rares, and a chase. And you're pretty much guaranteed a chase every feed, not every case. So a case should get you... If you bought a case, you should have everything you need I think if it worked out just like Captain Marvel movie you should all right we got a wow well, we got another um, we got a rare uh, this one is widow spy and widow spy is okay it's nothing to write home about um, you can look it up on realms it's stealth lines of fire drawn to widow spy or blocked if she's adjacent to printed hindering or printed blocking that's cool i mean she's not a bad like fill-in for a spy piece but she's 50 points for four clicks sure she can't be targeted but oh there's certain things that don't draw a line of fire so you got to be careful with some some things pulse wave can just get it through it so uh she's okay if you're trying to build a spy theme she's not bad um but yeah so that's uh, rare 11, 12, and 13 that I've opened so far. And that's, we're only five figures in. Alright, alright, so this one is actually the chase. Um, I didn't stick this one out, so I didn't get to look at it. Um, so this is the chase. She's beautiful. Beautiful sculpt. Come on, zoom in on her. Zoom in on her. Not me, not me. Come on, camera. Nope, never mind. Um, great sculpt. Didn't break. Pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, if you don't have her, you want her. You might look at her and say, okay, seven clicks, 100 points. Doesn't wow me. And that's because she's okay in current modern, but come post rotation, she's amazing. Like, she's great pre modern, or, or that pre rotation. Post rotation, she's amazing. So, if she's on a theme team, which she should be, standard characters, standard friendly characters can't have their attack rolls of 10 or more re-rolled, and opposing characters targeting those characters can't have their attack rolls of 4 or less re-rolled. So Q gets around it, because his isn't a re-roll, but this protects you from prob. Close, so if they roll a 4, th 3, or 2, or, well they can't roll a 1, but they roll a crit miss, a 3 or 4, and they're within, uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just if they're targeting your people, they can't reroll crit miss or anything like that. That's great. That's fantastic. Same with a, if you your people try to attack and they get a ten or more, um, and there's no range on this. So it's standard friendly characters can't have their attacks rolls of ten or more. So if she's in the back and your people are up attacking, they roll a ten. It can't be rerolled. So auto automatically out of the bat, bat. That's pretty good. Like there's no adjacent or within six or whatever there's none of that but it gets better she's got traded stealth black widow starts the game with five trade craft tokens free remove a trade craft token to choose an opposing character within six squares in line of fire until your next turn that character can't use a standard power unless it's displayed on their dial as a colored square 
and can't have their combat values positively modified. So this, she is, and this makes me sad, she basically shuts down Amazo. Amazo's donezo if she's on the map. So I've talked about on the podcast, the Sudden Death before, where I like a robot team, Amazo, Ultron, Danger Room Magneto, Tri-Sentinel or Brainiac or Robot Superman, but those are my team. Well, in that case, Amazo immediately becomes a support piece because I do not want him anywhere close to her. She shuts him down hard because he doesn't have any printed damage. He doesn't have any printed powers, period. So she could just say, ah, Tradecraft token, you got nothing. So this is also good against Unimind in the short term, but this is good against a lot of pieces that are maybe using Exospecs, maybe have a ton of special powers, like all of their powers come from the white special powers. Well, it has to be a colored square. So it's great for that. It's great against Vulture because um, he usually uses the arms. He also gets a bunch of stats buffs. So she can protect herself from getting attacked by Vulture first turn or, or second turn. She can get within six, basically turn off all his pluses, make it where he can't use Flurry. He can still charge. But, well, I don't, he doesn't, I can't remember if he has charge actually on his dial. I think it's a, his trait? Man, I'm blanking now. Everyone's like, yes, Alex, yes. Uh, it's a special power. So he can, she can eff effectively say, sorry, Vulture, you can't charge on me. Um, that's why Vulture could technically beat them because they're stealth proof, and we'll talk about that. But if you can stop Vulture from charging you and get within six. Goodness, that's the baby screeching um basically she could shut down vulture that's awesome and a lot of other figures too like batman but batman's going to use barrier so she also has a stop click on click is seven stop when this power is first revealed remove all the tradecraft tokens heal her that many clicks very similar to phil colson cool i didn't mention her keywords are avengers and spy so you're probably going to play avengers or spy or play Steve Roger. Well, no, she's 100 points. So Avengers or Spy. Uh, then she's got a damage power on her first two clicks. Leadership, which is always great. And Outwit. Uh, this is another big power. Free. Remove a Tradecraft token to generate a 0-3 Widow's Initiate. Or a 0-6, which we don't have yet, uh, Widow's Recruit on click one. So that's awesome. Because that essentially is kind of like a pseudo mini shredder. Except it ends up you could lose that 25 point figure but i i, I hope i pull one um widows recruit is the one you mostly want because widows have a power where you can choose widows recruit has a power where you could choose i believe a character or a keyword or something here i'll pull it up real quick i mean i'll probably i hope i pull one but uh, Widow's Recruit says when Widow's Recruit starts the game for all characters with this trait choose an opposing character or team ability when a wid 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 Widow's Recruit uses Poison, she deals penetrating damage to that character or opposing characters that can use that team ability. So you can dr move Black Widow all the way across the map, 10, ten squares, TK her out with somebody, Voyager, and then drop her down, and then remove a Tradecraft token, and drop a Widow's Recruit to just take out a, a Colossal Retail. Uh, you could choose that to be the Power Cosmic as a team ability and take out a, a Surtur or a Mangog or something. Or does Dark Phoenix have Power Cosmic? I think so. So you just take all them out. Or use Poison to take them out. Uh, on top of that, the Widow's Recruit only has, has Super Senses and Shape Change. So it's not like it's an easy three-click piece to kill. You still have to get through two rollouts. So... She is, and she's got Avengers Initiative, which is amazing. Great, probably my favorite team ability. She also ignores elevation for movement. So for our 100 points, you might initially look at her dial, 10 movement, 12 attack, but she's only got combat reflexes for defensive power. She doesn't have, she has stealth traded. Okay, cool. Um, she's great, but not breakable. Until you... T team her with a shifting focus which we'll get to um so that's a chase um right now she she's going for like 
ridiculous because nobody's got this set. More and more people are getting it, but it's not selling because the economy is not great. The set's not legal. So hold on to her because she is very, very meta. Like when I pulled her, I was ecstatic because I want to build around her so much because she makes, she helps Avengers go through the roof with Captain Marvel, Voyager, the other shifting focus, uh, Steve Rogers, whatever you want to do. Like you can play her, Steve Rogers, and a Vulture if you really wanted to. I don't know. Like you got so many options. She does so much for 100 points. And she'd be better with ID still being legal, but she doesn't have to. Because she's got a 6 range, dual target, 10 movement, 12 attack. I mean, that's great. 3 damage. Yeah, I'll take that all day. 100 points. Alright, we're only... Bam, this is going to be a longer video than I thought, because we're only six figures in um all right luckily i won't be talking about all these pieces uh one of them i probably won't be talking about is red guardian red guardian's cool i'm excited to see how he is in the movie um actually this sculpt's pretty sweet like it's it's not your thin captain america like this is a this is a buff buff figure um he doesn't count against theme teams and can use willpower if you have a, a Black Widow. So he, he might see a little bit of play, but for 50 points, enhancement, I, he might play with the chase since he doesn't count against theme teams. So I don't know. Maybe. I'm not necessarily building him. He's a common. So right now we're up to three commons, three rares, and a chase. And like I said, I only have 23 packs because I'm missing one. And I think that one was a common. I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Who wants to hear that? We've got a second Red Guardian. So we do have a duplicate. Another Red Guardian. Maybe this is the universe telling me I need to build with Red Guardian. So two Red Guardians. That'll speed things up. Um, I'm super thrilled with this set. Like, this is how movie sets should be. Just like Captain Marvel, I'm glad... Wiz kids really figured out how they want movie sets to be because the ones before Captain Marvel and this, uh, which was Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Thor Ragnarok, they're really not great. Um, they didn't have Chase, no, we had Chase Yondu, but there were no Chases in the Thor set. Was there? Well, that was that the one with Fenrir? Yeah, I think that was the one with Fenrir. I didn't get one because they were kind of, they were, yeah, there were Chases, Fenrir and Hela, and they were kind of. Nah. Um, same with Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, Yondu was kind of cool. Uh, where is Guardians of the Galaxy? Was that before? Oh, that already rotated. Never mind. <laughs> um, either way, those were kind of okay. Captain Marvel movie, though. That's a set. I know we're talking Black Widow here. Oh, and this is the common five Black Widow. We'll talk about this in a second. Um... Captain Marvel movie. It is the set that came out, we got some cool figures out of it, but didn't really see a ton of meta play outside of Phil Coulson, both Phil Coulsons, and that's it. I mean, uh, Korath saw, saw some play, right? He's the one who was a Korath or Ronin that teamed up with Hulk for a little bit to do the Hulk smash garbage. Um, yeah, move one square. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Do not sleep on the Captain Marvel set, because the Chase Captain Marvel, the one with the kind of super power, Super Saiyan click, I mean, she has a lot of potential for 150 points. Her biggest weakness was Unseen, and Unseen's gone in two months, two months and some change. So don't sleep on that set. Shifting Focus, uh, Carol is great, or Captain Marvel is great. Um, and remember, Shifting Focus is going to have a bigger impact because a lot of people didn't play Shifting Focus because it took up Sideline, which you used for your precious, precious IDs. Well, that's gone. Your Sideline's open now just for Trouble Alerts, Let's Make Trouble, and Shifting Focus. That's really it. There's some other pieces like for Jason Weingard. But. So um, anyway, uh, next piece I got was a... Black Widow 05. So this is the common. This is the one you'll probably be on. I think this is the one you'll be on a decent amount. Um, eh, this is one you'll play okay amount because she has prob. 
Um, this is the one where her special powers, opposing characters on the map, more than six squares from her, can't be placed within six squares of her. So that protects you against TK. It protects you from Oz because Oz places you and then you can place another step or something like that. Um, it also helps you against uh, Kobik, like uh, the blue cube with that little placement. If they're without a six, they can't be placed within you. Helps against Retal. Retal can't Retal against you if they start across the map. So very, very important. And it's her, uh, it's just within her. So you could play her with whoever, and she has Avengers and Spy. So you could play her with your long range shooter and not worry about retail because retail can't be placed within six squares of her so they that won't work for them now we lose a lot of retail but dark phoenix tri sentinel iceman storm magneto they're all still around and they will be around so just keep that in mind but you'll mostly use her because uh she has tk which is very useful she has prob which is very useful so if you need a more, if you're not worried about them shooting you from range, from improved targeting or whatever, she's probably, you're going to go to her a decent amount because she gives your team prob, which you probably want for the chase Black Widow. She's a common, so um, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, five commons, three rares. So not bad so far. Two duplicates, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, made that another duplicate so yeah Yelena Belova another number two which is a shame I would rather have more shifting focus duplicates ah, all right once again if you're sad that if you go to your local and you just don't see this anywhere your local target don't worry this should be coming to local gaming stores. I know I already still have a feed uh, reserved at my local. Even though I pulled the chase, I'm going to want another one or more of the shipping focus. So don't be afraid to go to Target. Just make sure you support your local stores because they need our help more now than ever because of this whole crazy pandemic thing. So I got a common Taskmaster. I don't really like any of the Taskmasters on this set. Um... This one's probably the better one, I feel like, than the chase and the rare. I don't remember the rare. I'll have to look. Uh, but this one's 50 points. Task Force, Assassin, Soldier. So, okay, keywords. Uh, when another character within line of fire rolls a single D6, you may place a die on this card with that result, replacing any die already there. When you, Taskmaster would roll a single D6, you may instead remove the D6 from his card and use that result. So it's kind of neat. It's probably not going to come into a lot of play because he's only five clicks long for 50 points, 17 defense, super senses. <sighs> that's, that's cool for sealed, but you're not going to play a lot of sealed with this set unless it's like some cool, like random sealed thing. So uh, it's another common, but um, they could have done better with Taskmaster. We haven't had the best Taskmaster, I think, was. Civil War? Was that really the best Taskmaster? I feel like it is, because that's one I actually tried to make work, and he kind of worked sometimes, because he kept going back and forth on the clicks, so... If you're wondering, I, I already kind of tore these a bit to make it easier for the video. But I did not peek. Alright, what do we got? Aha! We, wait, what is this? No, this is Widow's Assassin. This is a... Rare, uh, rare. At the beginning of your turn, if Widow's Assassin is on a theme team, which is Widow's Assassin Martial Artist, or you have the starting force of two from this set, you may choose a standard power that a friendly character has printed on their card until your next turn. Widow's Assassin can use that power. Trade is shape change and stealth. Five clicks, 75 points. She's like a worse Chase Black Widow, essentially. Like a poor man's Black Widow. Because 9 at movement, 11 attack, Pensai. 7 defense, 17 defense, super senses, 3 damage, range combat expert. I, don't, I hate when cards have... I hate it when they have running shot, range combat expert. It just doesn't... Like, I'd rather have sidestep, range combat expert. Like, or something. Um, It's an okay rare. It's... That's how you're going to feel when you open it. 
Alright. Yeah. You'll get excited because it looks like... <laughs> it looks like... Here's the chase. You know, it's not... You'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, The chase! No. No. It's just... It's rare. Kind of looks like her. I mean, it is... I think that is her, but it's her as a generic. Unless there's something movie-related where she's cloned. I don't know. That might be a thing. Alright. Yeah! Alright. So, we have the other... Um, so I've got the one shifting focus rare here of Black Widow. Here's the other one. So, so far I have three out of the four shifting focus out of one feed. So I'm pretty confident you're going to get the whole thing out of one feed. You should have every Black Widow shifting focus. Now, you probably want two sets, but you can get by with one. So this is the rare. This is the, um, this is a really good one. This is the one that is probably going to save your team from Vulture. This one right here, the cool guns out. She's grabbing for swords on her back, but it looks like guns out. And the reason being is this. Black Widow's on a theme team, all of that good jazz. Um, and an opposing character is generated or placed on the map from the sideline. Within six squares of her, after resolutions, both you and your opponent roll a d6. If your result is higher, give that character two action tokens. So, less effect after modern, because you lose ID cards. But, um, Jason Weingard, uh, trouble alerts. Somebody pops in a trouble alert within six of her. Then, and it's within six, not line of fire, just within six. You can both roll a d6, and maybe your trouble alert comes in. Oh, you got two action tokens now. Uh, the main thing you want her for is Outwit. Ooh, Outwit. Um, and she has Avengers Initiative, so she can see through stealth to Outwit Stealth, which is great. Or, Smoke Cloud is free. Opposing characters occupying her Smoke Cloud markers can't use improved abilities or team abilities. So, she is basically how you protect her. Here, let me do it right. She protects her from Vulture. Because if you can place her right and place your smoke cloud right, Vulture can't just charge in and go after. Because as soon as he hits that hindering marker, his charge stops because he loses flight. He loses all improved movement abilities. So it's very, very technical. And like this, a Widow team like this with these two and maybe... Voyager for those the movement. Um, I know PJ played Quake, something like that. It, it's a very finesse team, so don't think this is a team you can just pick up and be like, oh, I'm going to play Widows today. Um, it takes a little bit more finesse. But you can, she can effectively stop Vulture. She can effectively stop Captain Marvel, I mentioned before. She can stop uh, Charging Hulk. She can stop basically anything from using improved movement, improved abilities or team abilities. So... Just keep in mind, super powerful smoke cloud. And she's got stealth on these clicks, so if you play two of shifting focus, you can use the good, the super good shifting focus to protect her. It's something to keep in mind. She's probably the second best one, I think. The prob one is close, but I really none of the shifting focus are bad. Alright, so that actually gets us up to let's see. So we've got a lot of rares so far. That's one, two, three, four, five rares. Five rares, a chase, and man, I should have organized this way better than I did. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven comments. So we're a little over halfway done. Uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're about halfway done. Um, this one, Let's see what I got. Uh, this is this is the one I wanted. So this is the widows, boop, boop, boop. widows, widows recruit. Zoom in, please. Camera struggles to focus. So sorry. This is the Widow's Recruit. So this is the one with the po penetrating poison. You can see by the colors, hopefully it's a little bright, sorry. 
the red and the blue, they've got super sense of shape change. She does give up 25 points, you gotta keep that in mind. Three clicks, so she could die pretty easily from a pulse wave, single target pulse wave. But she won't be single target pulse waved, so keep that in mind. She's real good. Like, she's just, she's good. And you can just create one with a tradecraft token. That's awesome. So you want at least three of these. At least, because you probably are popping out a decent amount a game. Potentially. Depends on the matchup. Like, I wouldn't run into matchup against, like, a real beefcake piece that, uh, like, Juggernaut or something. Ooh, I'm really not focused, so. That's why I get for doing cards or whatever. And sorry, this is my first video, so everything's a little, ah, a little blurry. First video I've done in a long time. Hey, what did I, what can I say except you're welcome. Here is the common, the, the common Black Widow's uh, Shifty Focus. So we have all four, which makes me ecstatic because I want two sets of them. The reason you want her is because she has opposing characters, can't use improved targeting abilities to target her or adjacent friendly characters. So you have a team full of stealth, which is her, Chase Black Widow, uh, Quake has stealth. A lot of shield people have stealth. Uh, Avenger, a lot of Avengers have stealth as well. Phil Coulson, 75 point Phil Coulson has stealth. Um, and let me see if I can, like, that may be, ha ha, we're back. Um, a little trick in case you've ever done video, that's how you get in the refocus. Um, it's great, like stealth, use stealth, because there's not a lot of stealth breakers. And she actually makes it where you can't bust stealth. So even if you had Unseen or you had Batman, Prime Batman, who just shoots everyone boo, 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 and has improved targeting, she stops that. She's the whole reason Batman can't kill Widow is because she just chills there and she's like, you can't shoot through, sh uh, shoot through stealth. Ha 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 ha. Um, and she's just one of four amazing shifting focus. Like, I cannot, I, I, I can't, like, don't underestimate these shifting focus Black Widows. They are very, very good. They are going to be seen. I mean, on most Avenger teams, you could play the Hulk, or the, you know, the uh, Immortal Hulk, a bunch of pieces, and just stick one 75 point figure on there, and she could do so much for 75 points. So much for 75 points. So that's why I don't sleep on this set. Um, I know everyone's looking forward to JLU. Uh, Fantastic Four's right around the corner, maybe. I, I, who knows with release dates. Such a good set. Such a good set. Um, all right. We still got some more pieces. Um, here, let me just gather all the cards up so that way I can do that. She, that was 01 Black Widow. Um, so, so far for commons... I have gotten those two Red Guardians, yeah, I'm not going to forget you Red Guardians. Um, I have gotten, so far, uh, that's four, five, nine commons, and only, uh, let's see, only two of them are duplicates, so that's not bad. Out of all the uncommons so far, I have uh, uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. And nine is a rare, so I'm only missing one common so far. And then out of the rares, I've gotten five, which is nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then the chase is 17, and I think Taskmaster is before her. Uh, no, she's the first. So uh, there are eight rares, and I have five of them. And this is just one feed, and we're not even, we're not done yet. Like I said, I'm still missing a pack, too. I might have a common. Um, here's a sweet. So I was mentioning before, you need three of them. Another Widow's Recruit. I am more than happy to have plenty of Widow's Recruit. Pretty sweet common, like, sculpt, the little swish. So uh, definitely, you want tons of them. You just, you just do. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, so we got another duplicate rare, and it's one of the shifting focus, which is awesome. 
It's number 13. So this is the close combat one with the equip. I can roll a d6, you roll d6, I can steal your equipment. Ha ha ha. So that's good. Duplicate rares um, of shifting focus is great because you want probably two sets because there are viable teams with both sets of Black Widows, like legit. Um, okay, here's the 04. I think that was the one I did not have. Or did I already have that one? Nope, that was the one I didn't have. Task Force Henchman. 25 points. Le it starts with Leap Climb, yay, at the beginning. Garbage. It's a garbage piece. Sorry. Maybe he's real cool in the movie. I don't know. Garbage piece. He's the one where you buy one pack of this and leave, and you're like, man, I got stuck with this. I'll go buy another pack. Um, a rare Yelena Belova, number 10. So, all right, so we're sitting here with a, lot, a decent amount of, a surprising amount of rares, actually. Um, let me organize these a little better. So right now I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that means I am missing 15, 16 of the rares. And I have one duplicate rare. This is one feed. One feed. So just keep that in mind. I'm down to my last uh, four packs. Last four packs. Let's see if we get the rest of the rares. I think I've got all the commons now. Um, what do you know? Number 16 rare. Red Guardian. So this is one I actually haven't looked at. 75 points. Six clicks. Uh, he's got leadership when he succeeds, modifies combat values, except damage, plus one until your next turn. If he fails, an opponent chooses attack or defense, and he modifies that combat value plus one. That's neat. Close, um, a trait, close, make a close attack targeting up to three characters with five scores and a lot of fire. And regardless of adjacency, instead of normal damage, he deals his printed damage to each hit target. Okay. And that's close. You can use that in conjunction with charge. I think you can. Because he starts with charge. So, hmm. <laughs> this guy might not be too bad. I mean, he's definitely no... He's not weak like one of the task henchmen or whatever. Um, yeah, you could. You could team up that ability with charge. He's 75 points. Celebrity, which Dan loves celebrity. Soldier and Spy. Invulnerability, 17. That's kind of disappointing. If you can make that trick work, I think you're on to something. I don't know if you could pull that off. Uh, five characters within five scores of line of fire. That's probably better in a sealed match, which I don't know if you're ever going to play this in a sealed match. So, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think the sculpts are identical between the rare and the common. I have both of them here, and he, yes, they're pretty much identical. So, all right, three more packs, and then we're done. I know this is a kind of a lengthy video, and I didn't want this to be a normal unboxing where I just open it and be like, what chance did he get? Did he get hosed over by no taskmaster? Alright, number 01 Widow. So I almost I'm doing pretty good with that. I am only missing two Black Widows which I won't get. Well, two more packs. Two more packs. I might get one last. These are both Black Widows and that other mystery one. Then, Man, I'm in business. I tell you what. Except I don't have all the Widows Initiates or recruits that I want. Um, Alright, so we got a rare Taskmaster. That means I got every rare. That's insane. Uh, so rare Taskmaster is probably the better Taskmaster, I think. Leadership, but only if he's on a theme team. No, leadership. Well, no, leadership, but only if Taskmaster is on a theme team or your starting force has two of those characters from the movie set. When he uses and succeeds, he may also remove an action token from a friendly character with Task Force keyword, including himself. If you're able to build a task force t theme team, kudos, because it's probably garbage. He uses Blades, Claws, Fang, uh, uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Flurry. Free, make a close attack, but only to target an opposing character that missed Taskmaster since your last turn. That's not bad. 
he starts with stealth. He has no move for an attack. Wizkits, what are you trying to do to me? He starts with toughness, willpower, and at the beginning of your turn, choose combat reflexes or energy shield deflection or mastermind. And he could choose that to your next turn. So mastermind's good. But you're giving my boy... You can't even see it, but you're giving him stealth. So he doesn't even have a move and attack. I mean, I suppose you could... No, because Black Widow only has Avengers and Spies. So you can't ta team up with Black Widow, which probably makes sense movie-wise. Why? I don't... Just not having a move and attack makes a lot of figures, unless they're a support piece, just not great. So this is not a very, very good Taskmaster. But that means we have completed all of our rares, and I have one duplicate rare, which is a duplicate uh, Black Widow. Got one more pack. Probably a common of them of some sort. <laughs> yep, and it's a ta another Taskmaster Henchman. What a great way to end this video, is it? crappy common so to go over everything that I have gotten in this one pack and I'm missing one pack I think um, I can count it up Let's see one two three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen nineteen twenty two one two two twenty three yeah twenty three so I think I'm missing one pack I think I think there's twenty four in a box I think I have every common, one through eight, with one, two, three, four, five duplicates. So I ended up with, I believe that's 13 commons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 commons, five duplicates. That makes sense. Wish I got another duplicate Black Widow, but I'm happy with the duplicate Widow's Recruit because you probably want multiple. They'll be, they'll be a little pricier common, but probably only a dollar or two dollars. And then out of the rares, I ended up with... That should be four or five, nine rares. With only one duplicate, and that was Shifty Focus Black Widow, which is great. And then I got the chase. So... You gotta get another feed to get a Taskmaster chase if you're really into that. That black that Taskmaster is also kind of a, I don't wanna say a garbage Taskmaster, but 100 points, uh, looking up on rounds, running shot sights at stealth, perplex, super senses when he's targeted by an attack, modifies defense plus one for each standard power. He can use the, the attacking character can also use when a trait, when opposing character targets Taskmaster with an attack after resolutions, you may choose the standard speed attack or damage power that character can use. Taskmaster can use the chosen power until he chooses again. When he attacks a single character, modify his attack plus one for each standard power he can use that the target character can use. So, okay, that's a pretty good Taskmaster now that I look at it. A little overcosted. He only has super senses, but he doesn't do an, enough compared to the Black Widow. Um, Black Widow just has a lot more attacking. He requires to be hit, and that is never a good mechanic unless you're like Immortal Hulk with like a pseudo stop click, like you gotta hit me so I can get angry. That's not what he does. You can hit him for four, like precision strike for four, and he's garbage. Um, the thing with her is she still has a stop click, and you're not gonna hit her because you're playing her with the Black Widows, with 001 Black Widow. And she's gonna protect her that chase from ever getting hit so just wanted to kind of talk about the black widow set a bit i'm hoping to do some more informational videos like this um now that i'm kind of in a things have calmed down a little bit for me um i'm also going to try to do more with the podcast to get more podcasts out there now that things have settled and i finally got a cord for my mic so that's the big thing anyway thank you guys for watching if you liked it let me know in the comments um anyway other than that Thank you guys. Good night.